Right, as I stated, uh, we are placing a call to East Texas News' Lauren Tier. She's right outside of that Franklin County courtroom covering day three of that Mike Ribeiro trial. If you're unfamiliar, it is uh, the former NHL hockey star um, over at the Dallas Stars. So there it is. Lauren, what can you, uh, can you tell me there on your lunch break? Well, Devin, um, we started this morning around 9.30. We had the same witness on the stand that we ended with last night. He is the lead investigator in this case. Um, he is an investigator for the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Um, so he's still on the stand. We started off this morning. The state was asking him some questions after he had been redirected back uh, from the defense attorneys. They were asking him things um, about there's a little bit of time in between when he got the statements um, from the day of the incident and when he turned the case over to the DA for prosecution. It's about 10 months time. Um, his justification for that was basically that it's a very small sheriff's office. There are only two investigators um, and he it was essentially the only one on this particular case. He did say he turned it in as quickly as he possibly could. He wishes it could have been quicker, but that was not the reality of the situation in his opinion. Um, after he gave some of those remarks, we moved into watching the recordings of the statements from the day of the incident. So, so far before lunch, we've heard the statement video um, in the parking lot with the mother of one of the alleged victims. She's also the aunt of one of the alleged victims and then the friend of the other alleged victim. So she has a close relation, obviously, to all three, excuse me, alleged victims. We heard her statement it was taken in the parking lot of the sheriff's office um, pretty much directly after they dropped off their pontoon boat that they had rented. They drove straight to the sheriff's office. That's where she gave her statement. After her statement, we did hear the statement from one of the alleged victims um, who was on the jet ski with Ribeiro, and she gave her account of what she had um, witnessed and gone through on that day back in 2021. And then after we watched her statement, we went into, I believe, the longest of the three videos so far, uh, which was the statement from the alleged victim who was on the boat with Ribeiro uh, when she says he sexually assaulted her. So we finished her statement up right before lunch and then just got out for break. So I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna go back into the courtroom for, but I do know that the lead investigator is technically still on the stand. Wow, it sounds like a, a lot of really uh, difficult re-storytelling to hear there. Can you tell us uh, the, the energy in the courtroom? Yes, absolutely. So um, obviously there's a lot of silence going on right now because we are listening to these statements on video. Um, but just you can tell everybody is very serious um, and very focused on what these women are saying in these videos to make sure they match up with the testimony that they've already given on the stand. Because um, I believe all three of these women in these videos have already testified in previous days of the trial. Again, we are on day four. So, um, yes, obviously these are very, very serious allegations. And so you can really tell that everyone in the courtroom um, is very invested in listening to what is going on and uh, very serious about, about what we're talking about. Absolutely. What can we expect um, moving forward through the rest of the day? So what I would assume is that we are going to watch more statement videos because I know they interviewed, excuse me, multiple other people um, who were in this group on the day of the incident. So if I had to guess, I would assume we're going to go through more statement videos. And then after that, I would assume that questioning would follow for the lead investigator. All right, Lauren. Well, then we will uh, keep an eye out for that day to wrap and get uh, the entire day's um events there at the yes. Franklin County Courthouse here shortly. Yes, I will bring you the summary of everything as soon as I can um, once we're released for the end of the day. All right, thanks for calling in. We'll hear from you uh, later on tonight. Yep.